Hi everyone. Wow, a lot of you are not feeling very well, are you? The noise or the buzzing, or however the tinnitus sounds in your head, a lot of people describe it as chirping or uh, a clicking sound. I describe it as buzzing, high-pitched buzzing now, but an awful lot of you are saying it's getting louder for you too in your areas. When I've posted videos like this pointing out the ultra low frequencies in a specific area, people leave comments saying that they are not feeling well in the area where these ultra low frequencies are being set off. But not in your area. This is up in Maine. I'm not feeling well most days. I'm very irritable, anxious, general malaise, brain fog, memory problems, now tremors which is a new symptom. Um, the ringing in my ears so loud it's hard to even hear the, wi uh, the wife talking. Oh, okay. Uh, getting stalked and sick of it. But there was one comment that inspired me to do a little bit of research on 5G. Uh, I want to read this comment though. The area you're showing in the first of the video in North Carolina is exactly where I live and I can tell you that we are freaking miserable. Um, lethargic, sleepy, ringing in the ears, busting headache. A lot of you are experiencing headaches. All of which can be caused by ultra low frequencies, microwave frequencies, the electromagnetic frequencies that we are so saturated in. Now we're going to be saturated in 5G millimeter waves. This comment, Carol, I am here to tell you that up here in upstate New York we have just been blessed with the ultra-modern 5G system that Verizon Wireless has been so very gracious in supplying our apartment complex. Ever since, my head feels like a truck is driving around the curves of my brain. I hear low pitch but very loud frequency screeches and that that's the word that I've described to some. It sounds like it's screeching in my head. Um, makes her teeth hurt. So, 5G in New York, hmm, and Verizon. Now, when I've posted, well, on Kafka Winston World, I posted videos on 5G and said that they will be rolling this out very, very quickly. I got an awful lot of comments, and maybe they were the paid, you know, trolls, and said, oh no, it won't be rolled out. It's not even going to be rolled out until 2020. And I was like, excuse me, that is not the information that I have found in my research. So, 5G. Do you know what the antennas look like? They're not like cell phone towers. Odd devices atop downtown poles. And this is in St. Paul. Are you seeing these devices either on your street lights or your um, your traffic lights, utility poles. This is 5G. This little antenna is emitting very dangerous millimeter waves. And guess what? Those dangerous millimeter waves are closer to you. They're closer to you. Isn't that great? Here, Verizon has installed the devices which it calls small cells. But for those who think that they're going to be taking down the cell towers once they get all of these small cells deployed, that's the language that they use. Military language to deploy smart meters, to deploy cell phone towers, to deploy the small cells that use millimeter waves, which are the waves that the military uses. So. Uh, they will be complementing the traditional cell towers 
the macro cells for more reliable service. So we are getting more and more and more antennas that will be emitting more and more and more dangerous frequencies. The cell towers will still be operating and the 5G antennas will only add to the strength of these very dangerous frequencies that affect our health. So Verizon doing it in St. Paul, doing it in San Francisco, um, and it's really interesting when you go through these articles and read them, um, there are so many discrepancies in these mainstream media articles. But the small cells will also be on utility poles, traffic signaling equipment. Um, and here, if you're wondering why your Verizon service might be unusually reliable in the downtown area as of late, this is why 5G already rolled out in St. Paul, right here. Now, what do the other 5G antennas look like? They could look like little boxes. And I've seen these boxes here in Anderson, South Carolina. This is how small the antennas are that emit incredibly dangerous frequencies. And they're much lower to the ground. They might look like these little boxes, or they could look like this round, what looks like a, a tin can. So check out your area, your community, especially if you're living in um, a city, because they're rolling them out very, very quickly in cities across the nation. I, if you want to know if your internet provider is going to be rolling out 5G in your area, just put in the name of your internet provider in a search engine, 5G location, and you will probably find out. But if you have a very small internet providing company, then it probably, um, they might have a daddy company over them that's going to roll it out for them. So AT&T, the first U.S. company to introduce mobile 5G service in a dozen markets by late 2018. It's not the first company. Here, January 4, 2018. I have to wonder, are they writing their uh this is the AT&T newsroom. Do they write these releases? Does mainstream media write articles forgetting what was written just a couple of months ago? Verizon and AT&T were the first companies to roll out 5G. It's been already rolled out as of the fall 2017. Okay. Um, 5G will absolutely change the way we live, work, and enjoy entertainment because 5G, millimeter waves that the military uses, well, it is going to affect your work because more and more people are going to become hypersensitive. They won't attribute how they feel to the frequencies. They'll get sicker and sicker because the effects of these frequencies, first, they affect every cell in all beings, not just the human being. They affect all life. They affect insects, bees, trees, um, uh, human beings, all the four-leggeds out there. All life gets affected by microwave frequencies coming from these cell phone towers and cell phones and yada, yada, yada. Um, so 5G is only going to make everything worse. The frequencies affect every cell in your body. People get sick. They don't realize that it's the saturation of the microwave frequencies from the Wi-Fi, from their smart meters, from, oh, well, the children who are getting sick 
Uh, it could be the Wi-Fi from they sitting in public schools Monday through Friday for hours and hours. They don't attribute how they feel to these frequencies. They go off to doctors. They get a prescription. They fill it. They start taking pills that will only, well, it might give them some relief in the, in the uh, short run, but the long run, they only get sicker. Yeah, so it's going to change the way you live, the way you work. How you enjoy entertainment? Well, you'll get to download movies faster. Um, but the cities that AT&T will be rolling it out for 2018, Atlanta, Austin, Boston, Bridgeport, Connecticut, Buffalo, New York, Chicago, Fresno, Greenville, South Carolina, Hartford, Connecticut, Houston, Indianapolis, Los Angeles, Louisville, uh, Memphis, Nashville, New Orleans, New Orleans, sorry, Oklahoma City, Pittsburgh, San Antonio, San Diego, San Francisco, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Sacramento, California, and hundreds of additional metro areas as well. This, uh, 5G market size, global analysis, emerging technologies, uh, regional trends, competitive landscape, the growth factors. The 5G market, the predominant players are Verizon Wireless, AT&T, Ericsson in Sweden, Alcatel, Alcatel, Lucent, China Mobile, um, UE, I don't know, Technologies in China, NTT, Docomo in Japan, Vodafone, that's the UK, and Batari Airtel Limited, I don't know. My pronunciation is really bad, I'm sorry. Um, so North America is expected to be the early adopter for the 5G technology. Well, many of us have posted videos on our former FCC chairman saying we're not even going to test. We will not even test 5G. We're rolling it out because we, we can make billions of dollars. So they're not even going to test these frequencies to find out if, they're, if they have some uh, negative or adverse health effects. Well, they already know the negative, the adverse health effects. They don't care. The study indicates that countries like Russia, South Korea, Japan, China, United States are expected to deploy 5G very soon and expected to dominate the 5G market. So this is being rolled out worldwide. And why are they rolling it out with such speed? Oh, my God, the Super Bowl. You have Twin Cities, you got to get 5G ready before the Super Bowl. This was February 3rd, 2017. Why? Small cell technology. Here it is. Why? Well, they want to give you, because they care about you so much and they want to make you happy. They, they, want to give you the clearest connections, the fastest internet speed, and the fewest drop calls. Small cell, distributed antenna systems, signal boosters. Do you know that when you activate your cell phone, first of all, when you are not using your cell phone, it's still emitting dangerous microwave frequencies. When you pick it up and you start to make a call, it is far more activated and it's pulling the frequencies more intensely. When it starts to ring, your call is now connected and it's ringing. Very intense, the frequencies are coming right at you, going right into your body affecting every cell in your body. And 
they cross the blood-brain barrier. So the signal boosters will be drawing those frequencies more intensely into the area that they are located. So the Twin Cities carriers appear especially eager to get their infrastructure in place by the time of the Super Bowl. That's right, early 2018. So you got it, guys. You've got it. They want to give the strongest signal to sports fans. Wins. We want families at the Winter Carnival, Carnival to be able to post their cute pictures on social media and send them to grandma quickly and easily. We want people in town for the Super Bowl next year to show their friends how fantastic our region is and that requires good coverage. Then there's the Internet of Things. Hmm. What? 5G Internet of Things? The ever-increasing number of everyday devices from streetlights to smart watches? They can talk to each other wirelessly. Dangerous frequencies. Internet of Things. It's why they're rolling out the 5G really fast because they need the 5G for Internet of Things so that everything is connected and everything is watched, including you, surveilled, millimeter waves, provide high definition, high resolution surveillance. So, when you are in a 5G area, those millimeter waves will pick up what you have in your pocketbook, what you have in your briefcase, what you have in your pockets, and let's say you're, uh, you have a concealed, any kind of weapon, a gun, even if it's plastic, millimeter waves will be able to pick it up. And guess what? They transmit that information back, back to a data bank, or let's say, hmm, video cameras. And at the end, I'll get into the artificial intelligence, how it's all connected. They don't really want to make grandma happy. Come on. They want all of this technology to be running so that they can control every, everything in the world, no joke, and control every individual as well so that they know where every individual is, what they are carrying, what they are doing, who you are associating with, and they can get all of that information really, really fast. And, you know, it, it's, well, people just want hey, it's going to give me a better connection and I'm going to be able to download uh, my movies faster, so I don't have anything to hide. There are also questions about liabilities due to the hardware literally hanging over people's heads and the aesthetics of them, plus there are lingering public health concerns about radiation from antenna signals. So I read this whole article. Hmm those health concerns. Well, first I came across, uh, Verizon asked the city of St. Paul for the right to install these small cellular antennas on top of the street lights and other public poles. Two years ago, the city agreed to an annual rent of 600 per pole. T-Mobile in 40 lo locations in St. Paul St. Paul, the rents shot up to 7500 to 8500 per pole. And they're in negotiations. Your city, your government officials do not care about the health effects. They get an awful lot of money. They get money from cell phone towers. That's why you see cell phone towers on school property. Because the schools and the city get money. Everything is about money. 
So what else? Cybersecurity expert points out that during the terrorist attack of September 11, 2001 cell phone lines and other emergency communication system in New York City were overwhelmed. In a crisis, small cell technology could absorb some of the surge in phone activity, taking pressure off the larger antenna towers and the overall network. And well, for the ignorant, they'll go, now that is really important. So I want 5G in my town because if there is a crisis or another terrorist attack, I want to be able to use my phone. Um, they're, well, they don't even understand that their own government allowed that terrorist attack to happen. Smart cities, if you want to check out how 5G is connected to the smart cities, you know, you're going to have sensors on everything. E every product that you buy, every street that you walk in, every car that you drive, every piece of clothing that you wear, um, it, sensors will be all over the place. 5G will be connecting all of those sensors. They will know what you purchase. They will know how fast you go through that product. Let's say it's milk you buy at a supermarket and that milk, that container, it has a sensor on it. Your refrigerator, your appliances, everything will have sensors. So when you put that milk into your refrigerator, your refrigerator knows. And all of that information goes into the data bank. And when you throw out that particular milk container, they will know how fast it took for you to drink that milk. But they will know if you buy cookies. They will know if you buy something that your health insurance company does not really think is too healthy. And mmm. Well, these millimeter waves are so fast, and it's kind of like getting that data in real time. And, oh, so everything's going to be connected, and the health insurance companies will be able to access that data. <gasps> Your health insurance company will be looking at the fact that uh, you, bought, you bought soda, you bought potato chips, and you bought cookies. So... It could be as fast as, let's say, a day later, you get a call from your insurance company and they say, you know what, we have to increase your premium because we're noticing you are buying things that are not good for your health. You think that's a joke? You think that's so far out there? It's not. It's not. So I went through this entire article and guess what? Nothing. Frederick, you wrote nothing about 5G and the health effects. Funny. You covered everything else. You covered everything else. And you failed to even mention what could be the health effects. But you mentioned them, public health concerns about radiation. But you provide you provide the people in the Twin Cities with no information? Wow, now you are one hell of a journalist. So, the just recently, or I shouldn't say recently, within a couple, uh, about a couple of months ago, scientists and physicians send appeal about 5G rollout and health dangers to the European Union. Harmful for humans and environment. 5G has not been investigated fully for potential health hazards and environmental impact by independent scientists rather than industry scientists who apparently would rubber stamp 5G similarly as other generations of telecommunications and those other generations they have been found to be proven it has been proven that they have very harmful effects to all life itself. The charter, which is my provider, is rolling out this technology in Orlando, Florida, Reno, Nevada, Clarksville, Tennessee, Columbus, Ohio, Bakersfield, California, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 
Verizon. Now, this is The Verge, and this is an article, November 29, 2017. 5G service in five cities by the end of next year. November. And it says that Verizon's going to start its rollout in Sacramento, California, sometime in the second half of 2018. Okay, this article was November, November 29, 2017, and yet February 22nd, 2017, months before The Verge writes that Verizon is going to start in Sacramento and it will be in 2018. They had an article on The Verge. Verizon is planning 5G tests in 11 cities this year. They've already begun to roll it out. And the rollout uh, 5G service to pilot customers in 11 markets across the United States by mid-2017. Verizon stated that it marks the first time the service will be available for actual use mid-2017. Did The Verge forget? Did they just forget? And now they're writing that Verizon is starting and will have 5G rolled out the second half of 2018 Sacramento, California, this kind of, oh, this kind of uh, journalism really drives me up the wall. All right, but they already rolled it out in Ann Harbor, Atlanta, Bernardsville, Brock Brockton, Dallas, Denver, Houston, Miami, Sacramento, Seattle, Washington, D.C. And I have spoken to subscribers in Dallas, in Houston, and they are really suffering from the effects. And you guys in Dallas and Houston, you have to be looking up at your, your street lights, your traffic um, uh, poles, your utility poles, and again, if you come across any of these little boxes, that's your 5G. They can be as small as this. They can be round. So, you guys in Dallas and Houston, you may already be affected by 5G. So, artificial intelligence is going to supercharge surveillance. Um, I'm not going to read much of this. I've posted many, many videos on microwave frequencies as well as 5G. And I, you know, it's very hard to keep doing this, but um, I, I just know how important it is. But when you think about, all right, we've got the health effects. Uh, you can do any search on any engine, YouTube, put in 5G danger health effects, and wow, will you come across an awful lot of, of videos with doctors, with physicists, with scientists, and with ordinary people reporting about the dangers of 5G in particular. Um, I will also tell you, just do a search, 5G artificial intelligence and Internet of Things, and you will see an awful lot of videos as well. And you'll understand a little bit more about how all of this is connected. The beast system for a reason. 5G artificial intelligence. So, the artificial intelligence... All right. When you think about the surveillance that they have already, you know, think about, well, the UK, uh, particularly London and England, and Scotland, I'm not too sure about Ireland. I, I think, what is it, Northern Ireland is part of the UK still? I don't know. But um, the, their CCTV, they have the ability to watch every street in real time, but they have humans 
sitting there watching the surveillance video of everything that's going on. Well, 5G will give them the capability of getting rid of those humans watching the videos. Artificial intelligence is giving surveillance cameras digital brains to match their eyes, letting them analyze live video with no humans necessary. This could be good news for public safety, helping police and first responders more easily spot crimes and accidents and have a range of scientific and industrial applications, but it is also raising serious questions about the future of privacy and poses novel risks to social justice, to say the least. And 5G will bring about high definition resolution allowing video surveillance to literally zoom right in to see who it is that is walking down the street. And they won't have humans looking at those videos. Artificial intelligence will pick up, hmm, suspicious activity. Suspicious activity. And remember, sensors are going to be on everything. I, th this is, I, I don't even know. I used to say 1984 on steroids. It's beyond that, even. It's beyond that. But, um, all right, artificial intelligence and uh, this technology, it's going to help police and first responders more easily spot crimes. ICE is about to start tracking license plates across the United States. We will be tracked. We are tracked now. iPhones, smartphones, there's a GPS in it. And they can determine your location immediately, within seconds already. The 5G technology will allow them to bring all of this information into the database virtually in real time and it will allow the tracking of all cars all cars immigration and custom enforcement agency has officially gained agency-wide access to a nationwide license plate recognition database and they're going to be tracking billions of license plate recorders and new powers of real-time location tracking This is, uh, I don't believe that they could have done this with microwave frequencies. They can do it with 5G. Now, on my channel, I've tried very hard to keep up with placing videos in my playlist. And you know what I found out? Playlists. Oh, wow. You can't get to the actual playlist page it just brings you right into YouTube and starts playing videos. Remember when we could get to the page and then organize it. We could organize from that page, but now we can't get to the page. Now we're stuck with uh, it just goes into YouTube and this is the playlist right here. And I tried to move things around and I can't. Now in terms of uh, the microwave electromagnetic frequencies that we are already saturated in. Here is a doctor talking about that we're being made chronically ill because of this saturation of electromagnetic uh, frequencies. But I have a lot of videos on 5G, Internet of Things. It's the final nail in the coffin. 5G, electronic warfare on our freedom and health. They're my videos, they're other people's videos. Um, if you don't know anything about 5G, I really hope that you do the research because 
they're not just putting these antennas they're not just putting these antennas on lamp posts and utility poles and street lights they're putting them right outside people's homes right outside people's homes which will be emitting very dangerous frequencies and there will be no way to avoid this except hmm I did read some articles about the 5G rollout and how well it may not be cost effective to roll it out in rural areas in very 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 small rural areas where the population is is uh, very very small they're rolling it out in major cities and if you take a look at where they're rolling it out heavily right now it is the cities that are within the mega regions agenda 21 agenda 2030 the mega regions that people are already being herded into the fires out in California they're literally just disseminating towns to recreate the smart the smart cities for agenda 21 agenda 2030 and Trump 5G deployment national security priority that's right get that 5G out that's Trump 5G, we won't study it, regulate it. Think frequency is bad now, 5G, <laughs> really dangerous. Um, untested, ultra high frequencies. So you can come over to my channel and you can check out my playlist. No 5G antennas installed without consent of residents. And this is a, uh, a news broadcast, Long Island, Long Island, New York, Long Island. Well, um, I'm a New Yorker, so Long Islanders really pronounce the G, and that's why I did it, and so I'm sorry I even mentioned that. But it's a news show about how these residents weren't, they were not even informed. They woke up and they saw the 5G antennas on their friggin' lawns, on the utility poles right outside their homes, and they were incensed. Don't you have a right to what is placed on your property? Guess what? Not when you live in a fascist state. And that's what we are. Corporations rule. Corporations merging with government. We've been living this for a decade, but it's it, or several decades, but it's only become more obvious that we no longer live in a free country. We live in a fascist, totalitarian police state. So a lot of these videos are very, very important. And You know, it here no cal fire victim wakes up to directed energy weapons and agenda twenty thirty. This woman's home was burned to the ground. And it was not a natural wildfire. Five G technology potential risks to human health. Excerpts from a scientific conference, and this video is a professor of physics. Or he is the one in the video giving the, the presentation. So, yeah, we are, this is not good, guys. Um, it's being rolled out already. It's in Dallas. It's in New York. It's in Houston. Um, so, yeah, you can put in 5G and learn, please. Whatever it is that you watch, could you please circulate it? You know, in reading the comments, 
that you guys left. And this is not the only video that I've posted asking how you guys are doing. I have received so many comments from people and it's heartbreaking to see how many people are suffering. Can these frequencies cause heightened feelings of depression and anxiety? Yes. Yes. You can get a frequency flu and I've gotten that several times and it is not fun and it lays you out for a day and a half. It comes on suddenly and then suddenly you're okay. It feels like you have a temperature, but you don't. Microwave sickness. I have a video from Kafka Winston World. Do I need to post it? You guys know. You know, I, I'm like... I'm kind of at my wit's end lately because I, I don't even know. Uh, I want things to change. I want to I wanna see something that gives me some hope. I want, I want to be inspired. I want to, and unfortunately, maybe I just have a different perspective of things. I think my perspective is one that is reality-based, but I can't get all you know, caught up in, oh, great, Trump's going to fix everything, or Jesus is going to come down and, and save us, and, oh, wow, they're arresting, you know, people, and all of these agendas that are taking place right now are accelerating with a speed, with a rapidity that is head spinning, and more and more of us are getting sick, more and more of us will be dead. By the time Jesus comes, and you can think that Trump is, you know, not part of the establishment, it doesn't matter. The geoengineering continues. He never mentions anything about Fukushima radiation. He has made 5G rollout a national priority. Think about his uncle. His uncle which I posted a video on and I'll check to see if it's in that playlist and if it's not but his uncle John Trump was it John who did our government go to when Tesla was killed off and they needed somebody to analyze Tesla's work who did they go to John Trump Donald's uncle. He's not an insider? I'm sorry. So, um, you know, and Trump, my God. We, we're, we're in Syria to stay. Have you been taking a look at what's happening in Syria and Iraq and Iran, North Korea? Is he going to start war with one of those countries? So, unfortunately, your Congress, your representatives have sold you out. And they have passed legislation allowing telecommunications industry to do whatever the hell they want to do. They don't care about your health. They don't represent you. They represent corporations. And if we can't get millions of Americans to wake up really fast and start screaming and get these friggin' government officials out of their offices if we don't get outraged and demand the removal, the immediate removal of all of these government officials that are so incredibly treasonous and now it's so obvious if we don't do that. Well, then more and more of us will be going down rapidly. The depopulation agenda continues on. Trump said that he was going to create a commission to study the effects of these vaccines and he has done nothing. Now more and more people are dying. States like Florida making mandatory the HP vaccine 
for all students in public schools. Okay, so please understand the agendas continue to march on. All links are below.